Hey everybody, go my stew here. Give me one second. Let me just fix this real quick. All right. So, uh, I've been working on version two of my IntelliTouch system for Casablanca ceiling fans on Roblox. Um, first of all, ignore that I'm using a very old Casablanca Spirit of Saturn. Just ignore it. It's just my test dummy. So. A lot of you may know about my IntelliTouch system that I made on Roblox. I have um, both a W11, except this is an older version. Well, pretty much I have this W11 here. Here, here's the newer version. This W11 and this W32, both of these IntelliTouch systems. And I've been working on them for quite a bit. And um, as you know, there's some issues with it. Uh, that I resolved. Now I know a few people that use these fans. Oh, whoops. Uh, Jack Patterson 7. Or, uh, not Jack Patterson. Forgot, you go by Haas Power now. Haas Power uses this IntelliTouch system quite often. Uh, my version. And, um, I'm happy to say that I am improving it. Making version 2 of it. You're probably wondering what's different in version 2. Pretty much. I'm extending along what I have done with the other one. Um, now, version 2, this mainly consists of just me fixing issues with it. There have been some issues with the previous versions, and I have fixed them. Um, such as, um, you know, there is that one issue where if you press the fan button while the power's off, you know, it still makes beeping noises, and when you turn the power back on, the fan just starts going. I fixed that issue. Um, I think there was an issue where you can, like, reverse the fan while it's in demo mode and s completely screw it up when it's in demo mode. I fixed those issues. Um, you can no longer do anything with these buttons anymore when it's on demo mode. They don't do anything anymore. So I fixed that. Demo mode, this is a new feature that I added. Demo mode now loops. So once you put it on demo mode, it loops for ever. So once demo mode ends, it just starts going again uh, until you turn the power off. Once you turn the power off, cancels it out. You turn the power back on, use the fan just like normal, just like any other Casablanca ceiling fan. What else have I done? Um, there's also that one issue where when you'd put it on demo mode, you'd hear the fan kind of, you know, make another tone, like it would make the demo mode tone, but you'd hear a speed tone as well, and, you know, that kind of, that kind of got annoying, but I fixed that, so now it only plays the demo mode sound, it does not play the speed sound. Um, another thing that irritated me that I really wanted to fix was if the fan was running in reverse, like if it's in reverse and you put it on demo mode, it would just do demo mode on forward. And um, the reality is on real Casablanca ceiling fans, um, if you have the fan in reverse and you do demo mode, it will just do demo mode in reverse. And when it reverses at the end of demo mode, it goes to forward. So I made it do that, which is pretty cool. So if you put the fan on reverse and then you enable demo mode, it does it in reverse, just like a real Casablanca fan. Now, I'm not done yet. This is still a work in progress, so don't expect this too soon. Um, one thing I want to do is I want to change the way... Um, first of all, I want to add more dimmer settings to the light. Okay. So, I want to import a system where... Um, I want to make it seem like a real... Like you're really changing the speed on a Casablanca. So, what I'm planning on adding... Is right now, if you just click the fan button, you know, speed 1, speed 2, 3, whatnot. Well, I want to make it so that, you know, you click the fan button, it'll just immediately go to speed 6. Or if you turn it off and you click the fan button again, it would go back to the speed it was on until you turn the power off when it resets or whatever. I want to import a system where if you just lay your mouse on top of the fan button, it gradually speeds up. Like that, without having to click anything. It, but if you just click it while, you know, it's going, it'll just turn off or turn on. That's how I want it to work. Same with the light. 
If you click it, it'll go full brightness. But if you hover your mouse over it, it'll slowly dim up. Um, I've not started that yet, but I hope to do that eventually. Uh, there's one other thing that I want to do. Oh yeah, a lot of you may know, these are very painful to set up. Um, if you have used version 1 of my IntelliTouch, you will know that it is a pain to set up on another fan, and it sucks. Well, one of my end goals with this is I really want to make it easy. I want to make it as easy as possible to set up. I haven't started it yet, but I'm going to make it super easy to set up. Super easy. I've already done it on a different co uh, control system, and um, so I know I can do it. Um, but I want to make it super easy to set up. As easy as just simply drag and dropping scripts into things and whatnot. That's how easy I want to make it. You know, changing speed. I'm, I've already made it a little easier. Like, for instance, changing speeds on this, you know, it's easier than ever. I have this little folder where you can change speeds, you know, change the value and whatnot. So, beforehand, you'd have to go through, you know, the speed script and change them. You have to go through this entire demo mode script and change, you know, all of these. It was, it just sucked. Well, now it's as easy as just changing one of these. So, like, oh, 12 is a little slow for, you know, let's say, you know, for speed 5, for example, 35. That's a little slow. If I change it to 40, it'll change to 40 on demo mode and everything. That's what I love about it. Uh, let me change that back to where it was. Um, so I want to make it easier than ever. Um, I never, th this instructions thing really was not clear at all. Um, you know, it's really hard to set up currently. So once the system is finished, I'm going to be making two video tutorials on how to set this up. Um, or I might just merge them into one. But I'm going to make two tutorials here on YouTube for people that are still confused. I'll put these instructions in here still, but I'll rewrite them. But I'll also have YouTube tutorials for people that can't figure out. Uh, one for the W32 system and one for the uh, W11 system. Now, when I'm done with this W32 system, I'm going to have to start going through the painful process of porting it to W11, which is going to suck. Um, sorry about that. It will suck. So, leave a comment down below. Should I release W32 and then, you know, start porting W11? Or should I just finish it, port W11, and then release them both at the same time? I don't know. But... It will be a while before I start showing this, so, or start, you know, fully releasing this. So, without further ado, I will start demonstrating this, the, fi the part you've been waiting for. So, obviously not done. I'll just show you what I have done so far and all of its features. So, as per normal, we have power. Obviously, when you turn the power on, just like your other IntelliTouch, it comes out and in. Okay. Now I'm going to turn the light on. As you see, there's one, two, three. There's three settings currently. That will change. I have not altered the lighting yet. I will be altering the system and the way you adjust settings for the light and the fan. It's going to be pretty cool. So, um, yeah, there's only three settings, but that's going to change. Um, so far, you know, version 2, I've been just fixing issues, which I'm pretty much done with. I've fixed most of the current issues. Now it's about making new features. So, click it for speed 1. That works. Click it for speed 2. 3, 4, 5. You get the memo. So, here's the cool thing. If I were to reverse it... This is another thing I forgot to mention. Um, uh oh. Well, there's one issue. I broke reverse. Um, I don't know how that happened. Oh, nope, there it goes. I don't know why it didn't register the first time. Uh, here's the cool thing about reverse. Um, that's an issue I'll have to fix. <laughs> uh, beforehand, if it was on reverse, and you turn the power off... 
it would just go back to forward when you turn it on. Watch this. Let me turn the light on too, just to show you. When I shut the power off, the light goes off, and the fan goes off. I'm going to click the light button, click the fan button. I'll even click the reverse button to see if it'll go forward. Watch this. Power on, fan, it's still in reverse. Light, still in reverse. So that issue has been fixed, and obviously the issue where if you press the fan button it still makes noises and randomly turns on, that has also been fixed. So I'm spamming the fan button, nothing is happening. And this is off, just to be clear, it's off. Spamming the fan button, absolutely nothing's happening. So. Put that on speed 2. So that's on reverse. So let's, let's put it back on forward here. Um, there we go. So let's show off demo mode. So let me turn the power off real quick and stop it. Stop. There we go. Let's put it on demo mode. So fan, light, fan, light, fan. Just like your average until I touch. Notice how only the demo mode tone played and not an extra speed tone. That was an issue that I'm happy I got fixed. Demo mode, the only thing that's changed is obviously if the fan is in reverse um, before you put it on demo mode, it'll stay in reverse during demo mode. So that's one thing that's changed. The other thing is that demo mode stays in a loop until you turn the power off. So here, I'll show you. So it goes through its normal cycle, same cycle. Goes up to speed 3, light dims, goes up to speed 6, reverses. You get the memo. Um, another issue I fixed with demo mode, I think this was an issue, I can't remember. Um, if either this was an issue when I tested the first version, or if it was an issue I discovered after I released the Intelli Touch. But if you were to turn the power off during demo mode, it would completely screw it up. You know, it would screw the system up. So it would keep going, whatever. Um, here, I'll show you after this. Um, it'll keep going, you'd shut it off and, you know, it'd just keep going in demo mode, just screw the whole thing up. Now, if you turn it off during demo mode, it cancels the entire thing out. So, so demo mode's about done now. So here, light went off, goes off, and now it's going to loop. Listen, you should hear the tone. Wait. There it goes. Now the light will come on just like normal. Another thing with demo mode, um, similar to when the power's off, there was the issue where if you press these buttons, they would do stuff. So like if you press reverse while in demo mode, it would reverse. If you press fan, it would change the speed. It would just mess it up. Those issues were fixed. So now these buttons don't do anything anymore. So those, that's fixed. Um, so here, I'll show you real quick. I shut the power off during demo mode. It stops doing everything. It quits, fans off, demo mode cancels. So, and these buttons still don't do anything. So just to show you, I'll reverse the fan. Okay, let's put it in demo mode. So it's in reverse, and it's going to stay in reverse all through demo mode. Um, I'm really excited for this and what people are going to do with this um, you know, until we touch system. It's really cool. But yeah, this fan is old. Aiden Panthers made this until he touch. So shout out to him for that. So yeah, the fan's in reverse. Um, with the current version of the IntelliTouch, it would just go to forward if, it, if the fan was in reverse. Now, it's in reverse still. So, when it reverses here, it should go forward. Yep. Yep, it's coming to a stop. It's going to go forward. See, like I was saying earlier, don't expect this soon. Too soon. I still have a lot of stuff I need to do. It may seem complete, but trust me, it's not. <laughs> um, probably excited to use it, but 
Um, watch it reverse back. Do its thing. And there it goes. So again, I still want to import the system where if you hold down this, you know, light dims up, hold this, fan starts. Uh, I know when I import that, it's going to be a little confusing. And I don't want this to keep looping. So I'll shut that off so it doesn't get annoying. Um, so yeah, I'll make another video about how to use it. Like how to literally use it. Like how, the, how it works. So, you know, hover your mouse over this, it adjusts the fan speeds. So, yeah. Um, that's it. That's really all that's changed. Um, so yeah, just to summarize it, I fixed issues and I've added a couple things with demo mode that not many people really knew about, but, eh, you know, it loops now, and everything. So, yeah, thanks for watching, more to come.